In August 2013, former Venezuelan military official Vasily Kotoski Villaroel Ramirez was designated a drug kingpin pursuant to the Foreign Narcotics Kingpin Designation Act. The reason for his designation was his involvement and significant role in international narcotics trafficking in both Colombia and Venezuela. While he was still serving as a captain in Venezuela's National Guard, he arranged for the transportation of loads of cocaine and the US dollar proceeds from the sale of the cocaine. He used various airports, seaports, and official government vehicles in Venezuela for this purpose. He exploited his military position and power to help the Mexican cartels and get profit in return. Before his indictment in 2013, he was also previously indicted in 2011 in the Eastern District of New York on various charges of involvement with the cartels. He was involved in the trafficking of illegal items and their distribution as well as laundering of money. The U.S. Treasury froze his assets and people were prohibited from engaging with him under the Kingpin Act. If you want to learn how Villaruel Ramirez got involved with the cartels and what role did he play in their business, then this video is for you. Stay with me till the very end to find the complete story of Vasily Kotoski Villaruel Ramirez. Now, let's get started. Villaruel Ramirez was a part of the Cartels of the Sun, also known as Cartel de los Soles. You may or may not have heard about them, so they are a shadowy group inside Venezuela's military who have involvement in a wide range of criminal activities, including gasoline smuggling, illegal mining, and other corruption schemes, but primarily drug trafficking. Cartels of the Sun are not a hierarchy group. It's a loosely scattered network within the main branches of the military, including the Army, Navy, Air Force, and National Guard. It has members from the lowest to the highest levels that function as a drug trafficking organization. Villaruel Ramirez was in charge of protecting national territory and borders, and it was his duty to fight against any illegal activities. But instead, he was involved with the cartels of the sun, and he used this charge, allowing drug shipments to pass through by land and protecting them along the way. In return, he got payments for helping the cartels, and he earned a lot of money. The activities of Cartels of the Sun were seamless until OFAC targeted them in 2011 and many military officials were sanctioned, including Villaruel Ramirez. If you take my opinion, Venezuela's political and economic crises are rising. It seems likely that the operations of the Cartel of the Suns will continue largely unchecked and could perhaps expand moving forward even with the sanctions and indictments. Now, if we talk about Vasily Kotoski Villaruel Ramirez's role, he provides security and protection when cocaine loads and the proceeds from Mexico were smuggled from or into Venezuela's Maiquetia International Airport via commercial or private aircraft. He facilitated the cocaine loads from Colombia through Venezuela in partnership with known drug traffickers such as Daniel Barrera Barrera, alias El Loco Barrera, Javier Antonio Calle Serna, alias Comba, and Jose Gerardo Alvarez Vasquez, alias El Indio. These people are also designated as foreign narcotics traffickers under the Kingpin Act, just like Villaruel. The cocaine shipments benefited Mexican drug trafficking organizations, specifically the Sinaloa Cartel, Los Zetas, and the Beltran Leva Organization, which are names you all must have heard in my previous videos. The president has identified them as significant foreign narcotics traffickers under the Kingpin Act. Villaruel Ramirez helped these organizations with their business. He benefited them, and they returned his favors in terms of money a lot of money. On March 30, 2011, Villaruel Ramirez and a co-conspirator were indicted in the Eastern District of New York on six cocaine trafficking-related charges. According to the indictment, between January 2004 and December 2009, Villaruel Ramirez and a co-conspirator imported thousands of kilograms of illegal items from Colombia through Venezuela to Mexico for transportation and distribution within the United States. Villaruel Ramirez is reportedly charged with narcotics trafficking and money laundering in Venezuela since 2008. In 2013, Villaruel was finally brought under the Kingpin Act. He was indicted for everything he did by abusing his military position. Now he can no longer engage with people and his assets are also frozen. 
Vasily Kotoski Villaruel Ramirez, alias Potro, and Robert Alexander Pinto Hill were arrested on the charges filed against them. Local authorities sought the former GNB captain since 2008 and U.S. officials since 2011. The U.S. Treasury Department placed Villaruel on its kingpin list in 2013, and Interpol put out a red alert for his capture in 2014. His partner, who was also a former GNB Lieutenant Pinto, was accused of organizing drug trafficking activities in Central and East in Venezuela, he was initially captured in 2010 with 336 kilos of cocaine but later managed to escape authorities. Both of the officials were arrested in 2015. Ramirez, who was 43 years old, headed a trafficking group called the Fortis Cartel and was wanted for drug crimes and money laundering in the United States for a very long time. He was a financier of the Sinaloa Cartel, Mexico's most significant criminal organization. Along with this, he also offered his services to other cartel organizations. Villaruel Ramirez was born on 27 March 1972 in Venezuela. Vasily Kotoski Villaruel Ramirez was the boyfriend of Josa Canales. He was in a very romantic relationship with the famous Venezuelan star and singer in 2008. He even lent her one of his properties for the photographic session of the calendar. He posed at that time almost naked and he titled it Without Fear of Anything. At the time of launch, in November 2007, Canales explained to Rumba Caracas magazine why he chose that form as a location, which he suggested belonged to him. Sometime later, it was seized by the National Anti-Drug Office. 30 pieces of pure cocaine were seized in the farm, where Canales posed just months before. In another farm, Rancho Camacho, located in the same town, they seized three shotguns with different calibers, 34 vehicles, and 62 horses. For investigation, the former captain, Villaruel Ramirez, nicknamed El Potro, and his sister, Sovisky Ramirez, were requested by the Second Control Court of Anzuategui State. With a red alert from Interpol, one of them was finally caught seven years later. The woman is still at large. Although no photos of Villaruel Ramirez and Josa Canales are together, the star admitted her relationship with this man, who's accused of being part of one of the most prominent cartel organizations today. But she was able to defend herself and emerge unscathed from the injuries. The police never arrested her for the case, but investigators called her to testify as a witness. In recent years, we have seen the growing links of military officials with cartel groups. The Sinaloa Cartel, which is the strongest cartel organization, has managed to penetrate the army to help them with their operations. Now the soldiers who vowed to protect the borders and wage war against the illegal trade are turning a blind eye on the operation of the cartel organizations. Villaruel Ramirez did the same and played a vital role in facilitating the transport of cocaine to Mexico and profit from the sales that followed. The Drug Enforcement Administration and OFAC are taking steps to bring down the people associated with the cartels. Since June 2000, the president has identified 103 drug kingpins. OFAC has designated more than 1,300 businesses and individuals pursuant to the Kingpin Act. Penalties for violations of the Kingpin Act are also exercised. Let's see how the authorities are going to break the strong connections of the cartels in the military and other powerful places. Tell me, what do you think about the future of Mexican cartels? I would love to hear your views in the comment section below. With this, our video comes to an end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications of my videos. Please leave a like on this video and stay connected with me on this journey. Do you want me to make a video on a topic of your choice? Tell me in the comments below. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Until then, take care folks. See you guys next time.